spoiler free discussion of four recently released films. The first film I'm about to discuss is probably one of the best films I've ever seen and if you only take away one thing from this video, please watch that first film. I... wow, I'm quite speechless. I have four recently released films to discuss and the first one we're going to just go straight in with it is Shape of Water. Wow. I mean that film deserves every award it can possibly get. I will not give any spoilers in this video but if you wish to discuss it more in the comments please feel free but please keep the comments spoiler free. Shape of Water is about a mute janitor who meets this unidentified creature in this kind of laboratory situation and she befriends him and it's a kind of Beauty and the Beast tale of being you know misunderstood and, and the innocent human against this savage beast and it is phenomenal. The ending surprised me. That for me was not personally where I thought the film was going but it blew my mind. Del Toro is one of my favourite directors and needless to say with Shape of Water he has not disappointed. Okay so Veronica. What? I only watched this because everybody was saying or a lot of people were saying it's the scariest film ever to exist and you have to watch it so I, I checked it out on Netflix and uh, um, yeah I didn't think it was scary in the slightest. There was one bit that I thought was a little bit well it, it kind of sucked you in a bit and it was a bit I'm not gonna spoil it but it was where the camera was going round and round and round and uh, that's a technical term and yeah, it's about a girl who uh, plays with a Ouija board and then things start to go wrong. Now, I'm very acclimatised to horror. I never really find Ouija board and seance-based films very scary. They're very samey, very repetitive. I think this one was trying to bring in a lot of these tropes. Obviously, I love foreign language horror because, because I think it adds that an extra dimension of the unknown if you don't speak that language, and I, I don't in this case. So I thought it would be brilliantly scary, but it wasn't. They have all kinds of common things in there. You know, you've got the nun character very often um, present in these kind of films. There was nothing scary about it. But it was very well acted, very well directed, fantastic editing. Brilliant, brilliant film. Just, I think the people who are finding it scary, I need to introduce them to some proper horrors. They will never sleep again. With the third film, I, I don't I don't really know what to think. I enjoyed it, but it wasn't what I was expecting. This is downsizing. Now, from what I can see, most people absolutely hated it. And most people agree that it was interesting up until the point where they shrink. It's about this, it's all about saving money and being more economical. So people are able to shrink down to teeny weeny size, like borrow or height, and then go and live in these micro worlds where obviously they need tiny proportion of the fuel and energy that we large gigantic humans use. So it's looking at having a greener more sustainable way of living by being tiny. But I thought it would be a comedy and if it was advertised to me as a comedy or at least a light-hearted film but actually it gets quite intense and serious and that's fine but it's not what I was expecting. Personally I think it was an interesting look at being small but for a lot of it you could easily just forget about that size, the size aspect. So I think the execution wasn't amazing. Lastly we come to one that kind of disappointed me. But again there's nothing really wrong with it. This is Winchester and it's about this old house and it seems to be haunted. Now it's not entirely like every standard haunted house story. There seems to be something a bit more unique about it and that's because of the premise, the situation that created the hauntings. I won't spoil it but because I kind of went into it not really knowing anything other than the fact that it was a, a ghosty story and another technical term for you and yeah it was fine. Like it, it was interesting enough to watch you know I think there were a lot of nice images, really well acted, the child who kept doing strange things I thought you know left me on the edge of my seat a little bit but there was nothing about this that I thought was scary and I thought it could have used a couple of jump scares and I don't like jump scares I prefer psychological horror but even that was lacking so yeah I'm very disappointed I was really looking forward to it but it's not an awful film. So as I said at the beginning Shape of Water is incredible and so fantastic that it makes up for any of the disappointment of the recent, other recently released films that I've mentioned in this video. 
Downsizing and Winchester were, I wouldn't say they were a waste of my time, but I wouldn't watch them again. And Veronica, it was interesting, certainly an interesting film, but it just, I, I don't understand why people are saying it's really scary, because it's really, really not. Uh, but yeah, they're all, you know, fair enough. And looking forward to Peter Rabbit. I am aware of the controversy surrounding the food throwing scenes, which I'm a bit nervous about, but other than that, we have we have some good things coming up. It's almost time for Ocean's 8. I am bouncing. Dumbo will be here soon enough. I just... Ah, very excited. Lots of things to look forward to. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know if you've seen any of these films, what films you're looking forward to, and I'll speak to you all soon.